Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for our Maryland statewide hiring event for new Americans brought to you by the Maryland Skilled Immigrant Task Force. Today is Wednesday, September 15th, 2021, and this is the first of many multilingual uh, events that we are organizing as the Skilled Immigrant Task Force. We are so excited to have you join us during this webinar and looking forward to you learning about the employers that we have invited to share the job opportunities that are available to you as immigrants in the state of Maryland. Next slide, please. To begin with, we are going to go ahead and go over the Zoom and interpretation features who we are as a skilled immigrant task force. We'll review what the job seeker services are that are available for you in the state of Maryland. And that will be done by the Division of Workforce Development and Adult Learning, DWDAL, Maryland Department of Labor. And then we'll have what you've been here coming for, the employer presentation. Next slide, please. So let's go over some of the Zoom features. Today's event will be recorded. If you have any questions or need technical assistance, please use the Q&A box. You can find it at the bottom of your screen and the responses are currently available in English. But if you plug in your questions in, if you plug in your questions in your language, Hopefully one of the interpretation team will be able to translate that. We will have a Q&A session at the end of the presentation. So please, please type your questions in the Q&A box. Due to the limited time, some of the questions might not be answered, but we will definitely follow up with an email with all the unanswered questions. So for this session, we definitely want you to go ahead and type in your questions in the Q&A box. Next slide, please. To select the language, just so you know, we have about nine languages being translated today, interpreted today. To select the language you would like to hear in, during the webinar, select the world icon on the bottom right screen. If you want to mute the original audio, please select mute original audio so that you can be able to hear the translation language that you've selected. If you are listening with your cell phone or using your cell phone, please click on the three dots and select more and then press the language you would like to hear and press done. So again, please go ahead and select the world icon on the bottom right screen of the, of the webinar. If you want to mute the original audio, please go ahead and do that. If you are listening using your cell phone, please click on the three dots, select the language you would like to listen to and then press done. To utilize the ASL American Sign Language Interpreter, please clean the ASL interpreter on the screen. So we have an amazing uh, resource bank for you and we want to make sure that the information you're receiving is accessible to you based on the language that we have, the languages that we have during this event. Next slide, please. So let me tell you a little bit about what the Skilled Immigrant Task Force is. The Skilled Immigrant Task Force collaborates across organizations to advance workforce system accessibility and career opportunities for foreign trained individuals in Maryland. Next slide, please. Before I start the job seeker services, I uh, just wanna again reiterate that the Q&A box is available to you to plug in your questions that you will be you will be posting to the employee employers. Okay. Let me invite Liz Rodriguez for the job seeker service. All right. Thank you, Joanne. And good afternoon, everyone. Um, and welcome to, like Joanne said, our very first um, statewide New Americans Job Fair. Um, it is an honor and uh, to help facilitate this event, and we are very excited about the, this opportunity to connect um, employers with not only the skilled immigrant population, but with all the job seekers that are now serious and eager to go back to the workplace. 
Um, today you'll hear from 13 wonderful employers and their multiple job opportunities. I want to encourage our job seekers today to listen carefully, ask questions, and leave with all the necessary information to apply for all of those positions that you feel you're qualified for. Um, I am um, a firm believer that uh, knowledge is power. Therefore, I want to let you know about the job seeker services available to you at absolutely no cost at our 32 American Job Centers located throughout the state of Maryland. Next slide, please. All right, so um, let the dedicated and expert uh, professionals um, assist you at the American Job Centers. Let them help you find the job that you want. The American Job Centers or AJCs like we like to call them, are located in each of Maryland's counties and provide state-of-the-art technologies to match individuals with job opportunities. Uh, we have on staff dedicated job service specialists and employment specialists that are willing and able to help you with your job search. The AJCs also offer assistance to veterans, justice-involved returning citizens, individuals with differing abilities, New Americans, of course, skilled immigrants, and other populations that are part of the qualified pool of citizens who are ready and eager to work. Next slide, please. All right, so here we have our interactive map. Um, the American Job Centers are conveniently located throughout the state and are dedicated to assist not only employers, but also job seekers. Um, the, uh, by clicking on the county below, look, just look for the county where you live and click on that uh, county and you will um, see the nearest American Job Center uh, closer to you. Um, next slide, please. All right, so here are some of the job seeker services and resources that are available to you at the American Job Centers. We can certainly help you with referral assistance, placement. We have, we provide uh, free um, job search uh, workshops and seminars. We can also provide you training opportunities. You may be eligible for free training. So we have uh, training opportunities through our partnering with the uh, WIOA uh, agencies or representatives. WIOA stands for Workforce Innovations and Opportunities Act. And they will determine they'll, um, their They'll look at you know, your needs um, and they'll determine eligibility for you to participate uh, and benefit from free training opportunities. If you feel that you, um, that you qualify for, that you need actually some upskilling or you need a certification, you may be eligible for free services, free training. Uh, we can also assist you get your GED. We can provide you with labor market information career assessments. If you are unsure which career path to take, we have um, our job service specialists, our experts, and they can provide you with uh, uh, assessments, assessment tools to determine which career path to take. Um, job coaching, we have POAC. They are amazing. The Professional Placement Assistance Center POAC. They are a great um, uh, center for you to um, get assistance with your resume, how to apply to, for federal jobs. Um, they offer all types of tools for um, job searching. We also offer priority of services to our veterans. Um, and thank you for your service if you're a veteran here today. Um, we also have um, assistance for uh, reentry or returning citizens, like I mentioned before. We do have navigators that can help you, um, you know, obtain maybe a bonding letter and other services that are specifically um, designed for you. And last but not least, we can we have our Department of Rehabilitation Services, also call, called uh, DOORS, and they will assist individuals with differing abilities in finding employment. Next slide, please. All right, so um, what you see here is a screenshot of our Maryland Workforce Exchange website. We like to call it the MWE. We have an acronym for pretty much everything. 
Um, so um, the Maryland Workforce Exchange website is a powerful online workforce services system that provides fast access to a complete set of employment tools. Employers can look for candidates and post job announcements, and job seekers can look and apply for jobs. They can also build resumes, find labor market information, and utilize other practical job search tools. The creation of an account as an employer or job seeker is at no cost like the rest of our services. Online, you can find the MWE at mwejobs.maryland.com. GOV. On your smartphone, simply look for MWE Jobs from your Apple iTunes or Google Play App Store and start taking advantage of our MWE's mobile companion. Next slide, please. All right, so here there's some additional resources for you. We have a uh, COVID-19, we started out, we named it COVID-19 Now Hiring Job Board. Um, this kind of like started as a result of a pandemic and the dire, I mean, the, the need for, um, um, from employers to obtain uh, qualified talent. So we have this job board that we created um, in the Maryland, De uh, Maryland Department of Labor's website. And it's updated with the latest information on job fairs and hiring events. Um, also, social media is important. So if you like us on Facebook, connect with us on LinkedIn, or follow us on Twitter, you will get the latest notifications on um, job fairs, hiring events, and job opportunities. Next slide, please. All right. So as it, um, uh, I forgot to mention that I am part of a wonderful team. Um, I am part of the Regional Business Solutions consultant, uh, Consultants team. Uh, we provide services to employers, and uh, we, today we have, like I said, 13 wonderful employers. Um, this is the list of, of counties and, and uh, business solutions consultants for you to reach out and uh, get assistance with all of your business needs. Next slide, please. All right, so any questions on what I've, um, uh, what I've presented today? If you do have a question regarding job seeker services at the American Job Centers, please enter your questions in the Q&A chat box. And we, uh, one of our dedicated staff will be glad to answer your questions. Uh, next slide, please. All right. So now we're getting to the good part here, to the um, participating employers. So we are going to present the following employers uh, we have today. And, and thank you so much uh, to these employers that have worked so hard to um, provide um, the information today and to uh, put together the, the slides for the PowerPoint presentation. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, we have, we will be uh, going over these employers. We have Washington Metro Area Transit Authority, Selective Demolition, and um, Amazon. We have Catholic Charities, Erickson Senior Living at Riderwood. We have Highs of Baltimore, um, m and Bank, YMCA, Shepherd Pratt, University of Maryland Medical System, Donahoe Hospitality Services, Vitalis Healthcare, and Howard Community College. They are all going to uh, provide brief um, uh, uh, presentations on their job opportunities. Um, they will be uh, ready to answer three questions, three live questions from the audience. So um, they will, uh, so as soon as they finish with your presentation, they, you are welcome and encouraged to enter your questions in the Q&A and they will be um, answering those questions. Um, some of these employers um, have brought, uh, brought in a team. Um, so other um, recruiters are going to be assisting with uh, answering the questions in the Q&A. Uh, next slide, please. All right. So without further ado, I would like to introduce the, our first employer. And that is Mr. Alberto Marino. And he is from the Washington Metro Area Transit Authority. Um, Alberta, take it away. 
Thank you, Liz. Thank you so much for your invitation. This is a great initiative because myself, I'm an immigrant. So I know <laughs> for my own experience that this is a great opportunity. I'm going a little bit slow because this is the first time ever that I have nine translators <laughs> working in this presentation. So let's go next, please. <laughs> As you know, I represent, uh, my name is Alberto Moreno, I'm the Senior Diversity Officer, so I'm responsible for diversity recruitment. Um, I would like to present who we are. So we are the third largest heavy rail system in the U.S. Uh, our payroll is more than 12,000 employees. Uh, but remember, we cover the, the entire Metro Washington region. So D.C., Maryland, uh, and Virginia, and Maryland specifically for uh, Prince George County, um, um, Montgomery County, but uh, of course uh, we are looking uh, employees for the entire uh, state. Um, our ridership uh, before COVID was around 100 million trips. Mi trips mean when you tap your your smart trip car um, when you use the the the, the metro, the, the rail system, or the bus. So we have uh, at least. Uh, more traffic than BWI Airport, DCA, um, and, and Dulles Airport combined. Next. We offer a great benefit. So we have a competitive salary, um, pro potential, uh, metro, free metro, free transportation, uh, excellent medical vision and dental coverage, life insurance vacation, holidays, and sick leave, a flexible spending account. The flexible spending account is important because we can use that money for medical expenses and also childcare. I understand that childcare is a big issue right now. So this is an option that we have, we present to our prospect candidates. Um, the same uh, depend care spending account. Employee assistance program, tuition reimbursement. This is a great opportunity because I know a lot of uh, immigrants came to US uh, with a professional background or professional degree. So if you decide to move forward doing a master degree, a bachelor degree, a metro will be uh, able to offer pay up to $5,000 per year. A lot of house training opportunity and professional training education allowance as well. Of course, we have a really good retirement plan. Retirement plan. Go next. The application process is basically using the website. So the website, please take note, is www.wmata.com. This is the layout that you will see. So I'll go to uh, careers and then about, and you will you will make make a, a click in job um, job openings, and then the final page that you will see to the right is the, the page when you need to create your access. You need to create your user uh, name and, and password. So try to remember your password because you want to use uh, several times. Uh, also, you need to upload the resume that you want to use all the time when, you, when you're when uh, interested to apply for any position that we have available right now. Next. This is really important. When you apply, we need to track you through the system. So the only way to track you all through the system is this specific question. That's the same box that you will see in your application. How do you learn of this job that you need to select agency? And then a scroll down menu, sub sort is gonna be Maryland Workforce Exchange. That wanna be automatically, but you need to type uh, my name, Alberto Marino. That's the only way that I'm able to see your application and track your application through the system. Let me repeat again. So you need to select agency and then Maryland Workforce Exchange and type my name because no, it's not going to be automatically. So, so you need to type my name, Alberto Marino. I want to leave for three more seconds because people need to be able to to memorize this information. Next. Okay, before go, please, uh, if you're interested in any position, please just uh, click on our web page, apply, but I make sure that you put my name on, this, on the source referral. That's the only way to track you through the system. Thank you so much, Liz. Um, 
hopefully this is going to be a really good attended event. Thank you. Yes, yes. Thank you so much, Alberto. And yes, um, if you have any questions for Alberto, uh, just make sure that you enter them in the chat. Um, do we have any questions for our, our Alberto here? Um, I love that um, the benefits that you guys are offering, and I love the fact that you offer childcare alternatives. That is great because mm -hmm. I understand that that is one of the barriers that a lot of our job seekers are encountering yes. right now um so this is this is absolutely great um, yeah, especially for re-entry purposes yes all right all right so um i don't see any questions here in the chat box um so what uh or the q a i should say so what i'm going to do is i'm going to encourage you all um job seekers to please enter your questions in the q a and Alberta will be glad to answer the questions for you. Yes. And again, start making connections. This is your big foot in the door, um, job seeker. This is your big foot in the door for um, getting that uh, dream job. I, we understand that um, this is the land of opportunity, right? So today, this, this event will exemplify that fact that we are um, having, we are providing opportunities for all. Alberta, you have a comment? Yes, I have a question. Uh, I, I received a question for tuition reimbursement. Can you pursue education any field? Well, the only f the field, of course, is related with the uh, uh, in our industry. So, but it's basically very broad. This uh, uh, business is totally accepted because remember, we are like a mini city. So we're looking for medical director. We're looking for engineers. We're looking for people in IT. So basically, uh, except for arts or something like that, painting, <laughs> that uh, almost all, all all careers is related with our business. Okay. Uh, another question, another question, could you let me know with the position? Well, please go to the website. We have a 44 position open right now, but everything with more details is going to be, this is a very short time for me to answer uh, live, but uh, please go to the website. It's more than 44 position right now. Yes, and you can you can also provide the um, how to apply information in the Q&A, um, Alberto, so, so that our... Um, our attendees can get that information. And um, as a friendly reminder, you will be getting a copy of, as an attendee, you okay. will be getting a copy of the presentation, everybody today here. So okay. um, thank you so much. So next up next, we have Chris Sanchez and he is with Selective Demolition. Uh, Chris? Hello everybody, good afternoon. Can you see me and hear me? Yes, we hear you and we see you. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah. I am with Selective Demolition. We are a demolition contractor located in Gaithersburg, Maryland. Um, you can see on this first slide um, for applications, um, you can call us yeah. the, on the number on the screen. We have a <laughs> website, celldemo.com slash careers. We are also hiring um, uh, you can see through our website, if you scan this little image as well, if you want to do that, we can go to the next slide. And these are the employment opportunities we have at the moment. We are taking laborers and CDL drivers. Um, like yeah, I mentioned, uh, we are located in Montgomery County. Um, we do work in... Frederick County, Montgomery County, Prince George County, uh, Baltimore, and uh, Virginia, as well as Washington, D.C. Um, we offer competitive pay um, and a 401k plan, paid weekly direct deposit, um, and we offer career development opportunities and internal promotions. So even if you don't know anything about demolition, you don't have a background, we are able to help you with that. Um, this is for a career. So once you get uh, initiated with us, um, you will have the, the, the tools to be able to move up um, from being a laborer into a uh, foreman, into supervisor. Okay, we can go to the next slide. So here are the laborers' job details. Um, like I mentioned, all experience levels are welcome and we will train you. So demolition workers tear down and remove unsound structures and building elements, clean up job site debris, 
and make job sites safe and ready for new construction work. Uh, demolition workers travel to job sites to perform demolition work and report primarily to the site foreman. We can go to the next slide. So this is our company overview of selective demolition. We have been in business since 1999. for demolition services in Washington, D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. We demolition services for government, commercial, and and Alrighty, as we mentioned um, a lot here at Select Demolition, safety is our number one priority. Um, we have a full time safety director and team of safety advisors. Um, Greg, he is uh, renowned yeah, in this construction space for our safety, uh, for our safety department. Um, as Selective Demolition, our first priority on every project is safety. Our employees are our most valuable asset. All uh, are certified. Uh, nah, yes, are and first aid, uh, as well as the 30-hour oceans. And we can go to the next slide. Thank you. OK, um, right there is all our contact information. Something else I wanted to mention um, that I was not in the slides. Um, Twenty-five percent of selective demolitions workforce is women. So, um, if you are a woman as well as men, anybody who wants to join um, our team, unirse a nuestro equipo, we are here um, to hire. Um, we are looking for. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. Everybody has a place, um, and uh, we can over to, oh, if you want to call us, um, that is our office number. Um, you can also text us. That number goes directly to me. So if you want to text me any questions after this, you can also do that through the number on the screen. Um, we have a Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn page that you can check us out at. And uh, any questions I can take now. Uh, before we look at, at, in the chat for any questions, Chris, I just think that it's great that you guys offer um, equal opportunity employment for females to work in, in demolition services. Yeah. I know that I am a fan. I, I, I look at these HGTV um, shows and I love how, um, you know, whenever they are tearing down building apartments, I love that part of it. And I wish, um, so I may just volunteer for a couple of days just to help you guys out. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we, we mostly do in we mostly do interior demolition, so it's not um, building, uh, raising or takedown. Uh, we do a lot of offices. It's not um, we do do heavy demo, um, like concrete and slab cuts. Um, but like I said, we we have twenty five percent of our workforce is women. And so, of course, um, do you guys provide training initially, yes. like on, on, and of course you're taking all the precautions for COVID, correct? Yes, we do. We, we, we have to have all our uh, employees COVID tested um, for some jobs, like government jobs that we take. All right. So um, again, if you guys have any, um, do you see any questions for you in, in the chat, Chris? Okay. All right. So thank you so much. And um, I will encourage again job seekers to enter any questions for Chris in the chat. He'll hang on for a couple of minutes and then she, he'll have to leave us. But um, if you have a question for him, um, heads up, just uh, enter them as soon as possible. All right. Thank you, Chris. Um, now Thank we're going to move on to our third employer, and that is Amazon. Um, representing Amazon, we have Amber Ford. She will be telling us all about the wonderful opportunities with Amazon. Amber?
Amber, can you unmute? That would be that would be good to unmute first, right? <laughs> that, that typically works. Yeah, and, and it's it's better. <laughs> oh, sorry. Ahead, about that. And welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Liz. Um, so this is going to be our presentation for Amazon. Um, and we hire from Hagerstown all the way up to PG County and including, of course, Baltimore City. Right now, currently in Baltimore City, we have 5,300 5, open positions. In the state of Maryland, we have over 6,000. So we are definitely looking to hire. You can go to the next slide. Um, so why Amazon? So the growth at Amazon is something that we always love to talk about. Um, me, myself, uh, is a personal success story. I started out as a tier one associate. So coming right in, doing regular warehouse work, scanning packages. Um, and I was promoted three times to become a level four. And now I currently do the hiring on the outside of the building and hire, st hire staff for the inside of the building. So inside of Amazon, we do look to advance our... Um, associates hire. We all we are always looking for our replacement, somebody to come and take our job. So if you come in there with a positive work attitude, um, excellent job performance, we always look to move those people up. You can move to the next slide. So what are our jobs? So um, our jobs, we have uh, over 30 buildings right now in the state of Maryland, and they are three different buildings categories you'll, they'll fall under. It'll either be a fulfillment center where the orders start out. After you click order on Amazon, it's packed at a fulfillment center. After that, it's moved on to our sortation centers where they are sorted down by zip code and sent out to the local post offices and delivery stations. And then at our delivery stations, they are broken down to a neighborhood level and they go out into our neighborhoods. Um, in the sortation and delivery stations, you will predominantly find part-time flexible shifts, which means that if you have a full-time job, you have the kids, you need a workaround, these would be your two buildings that you would look for when you're applying to us. And they'll say it right in the headline, it'll say sort center or it'll say delivery station. These jobs will have a lot of flexible shifts for you. Whereas the FCs are 10 hours a day, four days a week. Um, and you predominantly work either the first half of the week or the back half of the week. If you go to the next slide. And our job application process. So our job application process is very, very, very simple. Um, we've taken away a lot of the roadblocks and barriers that people find in there. You don't have to upload a resume. You do not have to um, answer all of those those questions, those tricky questions, there will be an assessment that you have to take, but the assessment has the instructions in it on every step so that you just click the instructions if you're getting lost. Um, I always tell people to take their time when they're doing the assessment um, because that will put you into a higher category when we, when the computer filters you out. So your first step is when you go, on to, go online and you fill out your job application, you'll see your shift, you'll see how much you're getting paid, and right now we're starting off, um, our starting pay rate for most of our buildings is between $18.50 and like $22.50. Um, and most of our buildings right now also have a sign-on bonus and anywhere in between um, $1,000 and $3,000. Um, so we are paying a big bucks to get people out and come see us. So after you fill out your job application online, um, you attend the office hours where you'll see myself or one of my associates and we will perform your drug tests. Um, we no longer screen for marijuana. Um, the only place we do screen for marijuana is at our airport location. All other locations do not screen for marijuana. You take a drug test here, um, take your badge photo, and you'll be on your way. You'll have your start date in hand when you leave out of here. Um, the third step is you'll complete an online new hire orientation, which you are paid for. So it'll come to you to your email. You'll sit in the comfort of your own home and you will watch the orientation. It'll just get you ready for your first day on site. And then you arrive on your first day to the building and you get to work. It's really that simple. Um, we have, we pay every week, every Friday, um, we pay out. And for the sign-on bonuses, you are paid after 30 days for all of them. And then depending on which range you get, the second payout will either be 90 days or 180 days after the next bonus. You can go to the next slide. 
Next slide. Oh, that was it. <laughs> so that one is that more is for our community partners, um, but we do host a lot of informational sessions, workshops, and career fairs. Um, we're back in person also doing those. That is great. Thank you so much, Amber. Thank you for no problem, sharing Liz. those wonderful opportunities. Those um, bonuses sound very tempting. Uh, and uh, let's just not do it for the money. Let's just do it for, for, for the career advancement opportunities, because if I'm not mistaken, there's many. Yes, there are times. There are times. With are Amazon. Times. Yeah, yes. I've been working with you guys for quite a while now, and I understand that 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 is the case. If you prove yourself and you work hard, and I know that our skilled immigrant population is, is willing and Yes. Uh, to work hard and, and um, you know, work themselves into the positions of more responsibility, like team yes. lead. And it's possible. It's definitely possible at Amazon. It's truly, truly possible. You will come in here and you will see somebody that looks just like you in a higher position. I promise you guys. So, so think about it as a career also. Think about it as a career, yes. All right. Um, do you see any questions in the chat box, Amber, for, for your support, Amazon? Um, I do see one or two, but I'm going to stay on for a little while. So if anybody has any questions, they can just drop them in a Q and A. Yeah, I, I see questions for you. Um, so go ahead and answer them. Um, you can type in the answer, Amber, and okay. provide answer to those questions. Cause I know that we always get a lot of questions for Amazon. So, um, just a, a friendly reminder to, um, everyone actually job seekers and employers alike. If you use the at symbol, um, you'll be able to, uh, to direct the question to the appropriate person. So for example, if you have a question for Amber, just use um, at Amber or at Amazon and then type in your question and then Amber will reply with at uh, the symbol, you know, the little symbol, it looks like an A with a very long tail around. Um, so use that symbol to uh, provide the answer to the name of the person who's posting the question. Thank you so much, Amber. Um, now we're going to move on um, and we are going to hear from Catholic Charities. I understand that Catholic Charities have, they have a lot of job openings. Recording in progress. So uh, for that, we have brought you for you today, Marianne McCloskey. She is going to tell you all about Catholic Charities and the wonderful job opportunities available. Marianne? Hi, this is Mary Ann McCluskey. I'm trying to start my video, but I'm prevented from doing so. Uh, so if someone can fix that. If not, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Mary Ann, loud and clear. Okay, great. Okay, now you're asking me to start my video. Okay, great. Hi, there my name are. is Mary Ann McCluskey from Catholic Charities. Our mission is to love, to serve, to teach, to work for justice. Now on the slide, it says we're in all counties of Maryland. And in fact, actually we're in 10 counties of Maryland, Baltimore City uh, and County, Anne Arundel, Harford, Carroll, all the way to Western Garrett County. We have over 2,000 employees, and yes, we have over 100 openings right at the moment, especially if individuals have Spanish. I do have a number of Spanish positions where we're looking for therapists, we're looking for administrative assistants, case managers, but I'll get into the positions in a little bit more detail. Next slide. Who do we support? We serve, we provide family support in programs for families, for children, Head Start, um, therapy, just a variety of different family supports. We support immigrants. We have the Esperanza Center and the Esperanza Center has a comprehensive holistic approach. Um, they have teach English as a second language. They also have immigration attorneys and also a clinic. We have poverty relief. Um, many might know our Daily Bread Employment Center, which is our uh, premier site. That's a soup kitchen, but we also have Christopher Place Employment Academy. We have my sister's place day shelter. We have housing programs. 
and rapid rehousing programs. So there's a lot of uh, programs that we have for poverty release, relief, housing and shelter. We also have a big program for adults with intellectual disabilities uh, in Harford County, Anne Arundel County, Baltimore City, and Baltimore County, uh, Baltimore City, Baltimore County. We are always looking for individuals for those particular positions. Seniors, we have a nursing home or nursing and rehabilitation center. We have housing for seniors. We have um, a day program for adults and just a variety of different services that we have for our seniors. In terms of behavioral health, we have many clinics throughout the state of Maryland, um, both for individuals, for families. We also have um, even programs where uh, they speak Spanish. So if somebody needs assistance um, from a behavioral health standpoint, we have that. And of course we have early childhood education with our Head Starts, as well as we have uh, St. Uh, Vincent, uh, excuse me, Villa Maria School for um, children and just a variety of different services. Next slide, please. Positions available. We have nurses or, and nursing care um, from CNAs, GNAs to LPNs to nurses. And this would be serving children, immigrants, and of course our seniors. So we have many nursing positions and this, I've seen many individuals start out as GNA, CNAs and work their way up through LPNs, through nursing. So here's a very good career path for individuals who are looking at nursing care. Direct care, we provide direct care to the homeless, to the direct, to the um, developmentally delayed adults and to many of our clients. So if you really wanna get it in there and have a personal touch with individuals and get it feel like you can make an, indiv an individual contribution, this is a great place to start with our direct care positions. We also have social work and case management. Um, starting with our, um, we have graduate interns, undergraduate interns, and then hopefully they turn into social workers that work with children, families, seniors, immigrants. The same for our case management. Um, education, as I mentioned, was the early childhood, the Head Start and our school. I talked a little bit about our immigration. And of course, positions, we have immigration, we have even immigration attorneys. For management and administration, we have quite a few back office positions like HR, accounting, IT. Next slide. We have an excellent benefit package, medical, dental, life, uh, vision. We have paid time off, T. Rowe Price, and many other benefits that are too numerous to mention right at the moment um, for this position, these positions. Next slide. How to apply. Here is our website. As previous employers mentioned, the way to get through to us is, would be applying through the Catholic Charities website www.cc-md.org backslash careers. And if you want to learn more just about Catholic <laughs> Charities, just take off the careers and you can learn more about what we do and how to help with that. Here is my contact information, um, Mary McCluskey and my email address. And I would encourage you to, to come look at our website. If you have a question, feel free to email me. I've been with the agency for 28 years. I'm familiar with a lot, most of the positions that we have open. And I really, if you have a sense of purpose, a sense of mission, you wish to help, Catholic Charities is the place you want to come so that you can help fellow Marylanders in need. Thank you. All right, thank you, Marianne. Um, and, and thank you so much for providing us with that information about uh, the different populations that you serve and see how we, how inclusive you guys are uh, with, with the, not only with whom you serve, but also with uh, the people that you have as staff, uh, your employees. I'm, I'm pretty sure that you are always looking for a very 
diverse um, staff. So here's the here's a, this is a great platform for you to connect with individuals. I see a bunch of questions uh, on the chat on the Q and A for you. So you will be entertained for the uh, for the uh, for a few minutes here. Um, I think that uh, one one really that um, there's actually two questions that really um, uh, got my attention. Um, uh, can any person from any um, like ethnic background apply to Catholic charities? Maybe because they see Catholic charities there. Oh, they, absolutely. Um, you do not have to be Catholic to work for Catholic charities. In fact, we embrace all religions, nationalities. Um, very active with uh, DEI initiatives. Um, the Catholic piece just informs how we work to love, to serve, to teach, to work for justice. Those are universal um, mission activities. So you do not have to be Catholic. We do not ask you what religion you are. That is not a piece of it. You're here to help others. Does that, that's a short yes, answer, I know, but. Definitely <laughs> answers the question. And also I saw, I think I saw a couple of questions actually about IT positions. Do you guys have any um, um, job opportunities for um, IT? Um, I'd have to look if, if we do, we, we might only have one at the moment, but, um, and I'm not sure that we, uh, we have a business analyst, I think, position that's open. Um, that caught me off guard. We've got like 200 positions open, so it's hard to remember every single one. But, um, so even if you don't see the position open now, check back in a week or two, those positions, whether it's IT whether it's a supervising attorney, how many people have a supervising immigration attorneys? Not too many, <laughs> but just check back to our website and I have it on the page. And I also put my, how to apply for a job in the chat and I can put it back there. I also have Tierra and Tierra who they're also helping me answer some of the chat questions so that I can speak to it, but they're helping me with uh, that piece. Um, there's Great. a question there about, do I have to have a driver's license? Certain positions, you do have to have a driver's license. For instance, our direct support professional positions, but not all jobs within Catholic Charities require a driver's license. All right. So, uh, Marianne, um, I'm going to just ask if you can please hang, hang on and hang around um, and uh, answer the questions in the, in the Q&A so that we can um, just move on to the next employer. Thank you so much. That was a great presentation. Um, and you. now uh, we are going to uh, listen from um, Deborah Cuadrado James. She is with Riderwood by Erickson Senior Living. Erica, I'm sorry, Deborah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Liz. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. It's a long afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Can you see me? We can see you and hear you. Okay. Um, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Deborah Quadrado James, and I'm Senior Human Resource Manager at Riderwood Village. So let's talk a little bit about Riderwood. Riderwood Village is one of 20 senior living communities, and we are located in Silver Spring, Maryland, on a beautiful 120-acre campus. Riderwood has about 2,400 residents and 1,400 employees who mm -hmm. provide services to our residents who live in our independent living area, which is um, it's just like an apartment that they live in. They actually own the unit and they come and go freely as they please. And then we have an assisted living area where residents who may need some assistance um, with care and um, with their daily care and just um, groceries and things like that. So that's our assisted living area. And then there's the continuous care unit where residents may have some memory issues and they need even additional care. So the Erickson Living manages the senior living community. So they are our manager of the Riderwood Village and our other 19 units. And it is the sixth largest independent provider in the country. Next slide. Erickson Living strives to be the most valued and trusted leader in senior housing by being committed to the Erickson way, culture and values. 
The mission is to share our gifts to create communities that celebrate life. And what a great mission. Our values include respect and caring, diversity, friendliness, and enthusiasm. And that's a really important value for us. Um, as you walk through the halls, through the campus, um, through the different neighborhoods within our campus, within our buildings, you will notice that staff greet each other as they walk past each other and they greet the residents as they're walking by. And if you see that a resident is having some difficulties, you will stop and you will ask them, you know, if you can assist them. The, the employees will ask them if they can assist them, whether they're part of your business line or not. Um, so it's a very friendly atmosphere. We also, our values include integrity, responsibility, excellence, and teamwork. Next slide. We welcome you to apply for one of our current openings by logging on to our website, which is ericksonseniorliving.com forward slash careers. And I will add this career website to the chat, to the Q&A, so that everyone can view it and log on to the site and see some of our openings. Some of the openings listed here have some signing bonuses, and those are the utility worker, a dishwasher, and we, we are also looking for an experienced line cook, and we're offering a sign-in bonus, and then the housekeeper and the housekeeping utility workers. So make sure you go on our, onto our website and look at those positions. We also offer comprehensive benefits to our employees, which includes medical, dental, vision, 401k, tuition reimbursement, and a scholarship program. And we're very fortunate to offer that scholarship program. And that's just additional money above and beyond the tuition reimbursement, where anyone who's um, interested in continuing their education can apply for that. And that's a once a year, you apply for it. And if you meet the qualifications, you can um, receive a scholarship benefit. We also have a paid personal sick and vacation leave. We are very proud of our on-site employee health and wellness program, which is a clinic on-site. And we have a nurse practitioner who's there to service the staff. We value and develop our staff through management and leadership programs and our scholarship programs. The Erickson way to, is to live our values one interaction at a time. And we do that being um, enthusiastic and friendly towards our, each other and also to our residents. We welcome you to join our workforce and experience the Erickson way. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much, Deborah. That was a great presentation. I, I see that you have sign-on bonuses, you have tuition reimbursement, that is great. So not only are you getting a, a good job, you are getting uh, developed in your career because they, you will grow with the company, but also um, you have great benefits uh, and, and, and that is just, you know, overall benefits. That, so that is just uh, something to take into account. So it's, it's not just the pay, but also the benefits that add on. Those health benefits really, really count. And uh, 401k with contribution, I wish the state had that, but um, I, I get, you can't have it all, huh? Um, so thank you so much, Deborah. Um, um, I will encourage you to look at the uh, very interactive chat box that we're having right now um, or Q&A box. It is blowing up. It, there's a lot of questions. Uh, just a reminder, use the at symbol to um, direct your question to the employer. Um, so if you want, uh, Deborah, you have a question for Deborah, just say at Deborah or at Ericsson and ask your question. This is great. And, and I'm not sure if you have noticed, but um, a lot of these employers are also immigrants themselves. So that is great. I am just um, ecstatic about um, just how, um, how diverse and how um, generous these employers actually are. 
All right. Any questions, Deborah? Deborah, there's um, Anna has a question for you. Can, do you see it? It says I have uh, not. Okay. It says Deborah, would it be possible to contact you directly? I would like to send our program Welcome Back Center, where we work with internationally educated nurses. So this is yeah. great. So this is great. So yeah. um, go ahead and um, just uh, connect with Anna. There's there's a lot of connections being made today. So please uh, continue to uh, enter your comments and questions in the chat box. Thank you so much. I certainly Deborah. will. Thank you, Liz. You are very welcome. So up next, uh, we are, uh, I, it's my pleasure to present you uh, Highs of Baltimore and our good friend, Jessica Blake. She will tell you all about Highs of Baltimore and their great opportunities. Jessica? Hello, everyone. Oh, there. there we go. Here I am. No worries. I'm actually excited about this. 10 different languages is awesome. And I'm very um, happy to be here as one of the employers. On this slide, you will see my information. I am also entering it into the chat <clears throat> as we speak. Okay, so who I am, I am with Highs of Baltimore, which is actually owned by Carroll Independent Fuel. It's a convenience store. If you're familiar with Royal Farms or Wawa, we're equivalent to something like that. As you see on this slide, the nice ice cream cone. So we were born out of ice cream. Dairy farmers started Highs back in 1928 with 500 locations, putting us on the map as the world largest ice cream chain. In 2012 is when Carol bought us. And currently we have 54 locations with 500 talented individuals on the high side of things. Next slide, please. So currently in business for 91 years. Next slide, please. And so, like I mentioned, we have 54 locations throughout the state of Maryland that we're looking for cashiers, which is our customer service representative position. As you see here on the slide, that is one of our newer locations in Gambrels. Um, whether you are making food or running register, you do do all different aspects of the job. We are also looking for hourly team leaders shift leaders, assistant store managers, and salaried positions as well. If you are looking to apply, that is at the www.highs.com backslash careers. Um, for an hourly person, the basics, no uh, experience is 13 an hour, and it could go up to 17. And a shift leader starts out at 15 and can go up to 20. An assistant can go from 16 and up to 25. And a salary is based off experience. Along with these positions, I am also looking for fuel truck drivers, along with sales representatives for the Carroll side of things. So if that would interest you, give me an email or a call and I would be happy to discuss those positions more with you. With these positions, we drug test for management and truck drivers. However, the other positions we do not. We do run a background. If you have more questions, you can give me a call at 443-829-8088. Again, my number is 443-829-8088 or my email is J Blake, B L A K E, at highs.com. And I'd be happy to share um, wherever you're located, um, what stores are closest to you, and hopefully get you in a position sooner than later. So that way um, we can get you going on your career journey in your life. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much, Jessica. There's, there's two things I um, that I love about Heights. And the first thing Jessica knows about it, it's the ice cream. Uh, 
The second thing I like about highs is the fact that you will be dealing with just Jessica. Uh, there is she, you see how she freely gave you her phone number, her email address. Um, she will be, it's good. I love working with highs because they only have one person kind of like uh, recruiting and she recruits for all of Maryland. So I think that is great. Uh, that is very personal. So just take advantage of that and just uh, look at those great benefits and the opportunities for promotions and advancement. So um, Jessica, if you would please hang around and answer questions that I see coming up in the, in the Q&A, I would certainly appreciate it. We, we did have some um, technical difficulties. You were going in and out, but we got the gist of it. So I think we're good. All right, thank you so much. All right, up next, we have Sarah De Leon. She is with M&T Bank. Um, she's also here with Maureen Wambui. I'm sorry, Maureen, yes. if I'm not pronoun pronouncing your name correctly, your last name. Um, Wambui. But hey, we're immigrants and uh, we, we, we appreciate diversity. So um, Sarah De Leon, please take it away. Thank you, Liz. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Sarah DeLeon. I'm the branch manager at MNT in Riviera Beach in Pasadena, Maryland. Um, I'm here to tell you a little bit about MNT and the positions we have available. Um, we are a community focused bank, um, mainly for business customers, but we want the whole relationship to come to us. We're also, um, Q just added the um, in the chat a link. If you don't mind entering your information, we will follow up with um, some additional information about the positions we have available. It's just an attendance um, link. So if you want to apply, I will give you more information towards the end. Um, so our organization, our bank started in Buffalo, New York in 1856. Um, currently we're uh, focused on serving New York, Maryland, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Connecticut, Virginia, West Virginia and Washington DC. Um, we recently acquired People's Bank. Um, they are, are also overlapping um, in some of the locations. We, we have about 400 retail locations um, and 5,500 employees from People's Bank that we are acquiring. Um, with MNT in Maryland and in those locations that I just mentioned, we have about 17,000 team members. Next slide, please. Um, right here, it gives you a little bit of information of the 13, we have about 13 resource um, groups. Um, in, at MNC, we want to be our authentic self. We're able to join this resource groups, whoever we identify ourselves with. Um, we do get about 40 hours of volunteer time. Those are gonna, uh, resource groups work with the community to make a difference. We come together to bring awareness within um, our employees. Um, and then if we can go to the next slide. We also, those 40 hours that I mentioned, we can be used for community involvement, either at your kid's school um, or uh, parks, for example. I recently volunteered for a park here in Maryland where um, in that park, they raise money by selling the crops that they grow for shelter for disabled individuals and treat um, and also teach them the skills of the everyday in farming. So I, I was able to um, be part of that and it was a great organization. Um, recently, we added also a sign on bonus for anyone who gets hired prior to um, September 30th or October 1st. Uh, the sign-in bo bonus can be from 1,000 to 1,500 depending on the position that you applied for. You get the first bonus um, as soon as you get hired, and then the second half you get it 90 days later. MNT is great with development. I started as an assistant branch manager. A couple of years later, I was promoted as branch managers. We work closely with our managers in one on ones um, just for the development portion. And um, if you don't mind going to the next slide. Maureen will be able to share a little bit about the positions we have available right now. Maureen, are you there? Yes, um, but my video is not on. Um, so you can go ahead, Sarah, you can finish up. Thank you. Thank you. 
So um, we have high demands or we have many positions available right now for universal bankers. Universal bankers are the heart of, of the branches. They can do both sides, platform and seller line. Seller line, it's more of addressing customers' immediate needs like maintenance, um, transactions, cashing checks, depositing, uh, providing transaction history uh, and uh, with other um, duties. And then as a banker, uh, it's more of customer outreach, um, deep in relationship, cross-selling, and it's on the platform, which is on the desk side. We, our goal is to provide full financial picture um, reviews with our customers to come up with the best solution for them. So as a universal banker, you can do both of um, the jobs. You will get training for it. Next slide, please. And right here, if you don't mind um, scanning with your camera the, um, uh, the QR code, it will take you directly to the mtb.com website. Uh, I'm sorry, mtb.com forward slash careers, where you can um, submit, look for op opportunities in your area and you can submit an application. Again, I just want to remind you of the link that Q added on the chat. It's for, um, for us to take attendance and send additional information to your email. But with this link, you would be able to apply for the position close to you. Feel free to send me an email. My email address is at the bottom of the slide. Um, you can add me on LinkedIn or um, send any information to the recruiter when you submit the application. It's a very easy process. Um, when you uh, apply for the position, usually the recruiter calls you as soon as they review the resume. Um, we also have what it's called a candidate connect. We connect with the, um, the candidates who have applied as long as you, um, you sign up for it. And we walk you through the process of what to expect. Uh, we have um, all the, the counties on the screen are the locations that we're currently looking for, but feel free to, to visit the website and any questions you may have, send me an email, send me a resume, whatever um, that help you need. I'll be more than happy to do that. Um, we do partner with uh, the Howard Community College and other uh, programs uh, for mock interviews and, um, re and resume reviews. So I'll be more than happy to help with that. Okay, if there are any questions, we will we'll, um, be answering them in the Q&A or the chat. Yes, yes. Um, thank you, Sierra, and thank you for um, um, taking some time out of your vacation to being here today. We appreciate it. Um, always great to work with you and, and um, job seekers. Um, this is a great opportunity. Who has not heard about m and Bank? They have great opportunities. They are um, a, a great with the community. I love that part where you guys volunteer. And, and I know for a fact, and Maureen can back me up on this, that uh, uh, m and Bank hires a lot of skilled immigrants and new Americans. So they believe in, in, in opportunities. They believe in, uh, in, in people that are serious about working and progressing. So. Thank you again, Sarah. Um, uh, I see questions in the chat. Uh, I think I see a question for Maureen. So get busy answering the questions. Employers, uh, I'm sorry, job seekers, uh, make sure that you don't leave today with any questions unanswered. I mean, make sure that um, you take advantage of this uh, occasion where you are getting email addresses and phone numbers. That is great because typically we don't see that happening what happens when, with, when you um, see a job opportunity that you like, you find your dream job, you apply, and then what happens? It kind of feels like it goes into that black hole, right? So, so here we are giving you the opportunity to interact with these employers and they are positioned to provide you with their uh, uh, personal contact information and how to apply. So I think this is great. So keep up the good work. Thank you so much, Sarah. Thank you, Liz. All right, so um, now we're gonna move on to our next employer and we have the YMCA. Presenting for the YMCA, we have Adid Adidra Putrell. Adidra? Yes, I'm here. How are you doing, Liz? I'm good, how are you? I'm pretty good. Um, I wanna thank you and your team um, for this opportunity. I think this is a wonderful, inclusive opportunity for the Y. 
um, especially since it's Welcome Week for the Y. Um, and just a little bit about Welcome Week, it takes place um, every September um, and celebrates the growing movement of communities um, kind of really much embrace um, the immigrant community. Um, so pretty much it's a week of events that creates and con that celebrates the contributions of immigrants um, and refugees um, in, in the area. So a week full of events, um, we, we like to inspire um, people to, um, you know, be more inclusive um, and embrace the immigrants. So this is perfect. It worked out great. All righty, so welcome. Um, I definitely want to welcome the job seekers. Um, we can go to the next slide to learn a little bit about the YMCA. A little bit about the why in our mission statement is to foster the spiritual, mental, and physical development of individuals, families, and communities according to the ideals of inclusiveness, equality, and mutual respect for all. So the why, just a little bit about the why. Um, our Go, our promise is to strengthen the, the foundation of community. Um, so the Y is a powerful association of men and women and children of all ages and from all walks of life joined together by a shared passion. And that's to strengthen the foundation of communities. Um, with a commitment to nourishing and potential of kids, promoting healthy living and fostering a sense of social responsibility, the Y ensures that every individual has access to essentials needed to learn, grow, and thrive. Um, the Y is anchored um, in more than 10,000 neighborhoods around the country. Um, so the Y has a long standing relationship and physical presence, um, not just to our promise, but to deliver um, a lasting personal and social change. We can go to the next slide. Some of our locations, um, I listed just our Maryland location. However, um, we have positions available throughout the metropolitan Washington area, which includes DC and Northern Virginia. However, um, for the purpose of this um, event, I wanted to stick with the Maryland locations. Um, so here you'll see a variety of positions. Um, our four core areas are membership, aquatics, wellness. Um, so you'll see positions ranging from lifeguards to lead teachers. Here at, for our youth, youth and Family Service Branch, um, that is our social service branch that's located in Montgomery County. County. Actually, all of these um, locations are um, located in Montgomery County. So we have Youth and Family Service. We are currently looking for a mental health therapist, bilingual. Um, and then we have our YMCA, Silver Spring, and our YMCA, Bethesda Chevy Chase. Um, some positions listed here, we have lead teachers, assistant teachers, group leaders, um, lifeguards, swim instructors, membership service reps, membership directors, um, and a list of other positions. For YMCA Airline, that is a, a program center um, geared towards youth development. So we have positions for lead teachers, early learning director. Um, the next slide will kind of show just a brief description of a few positions listed. We'll go to the next slide. Um, so we have the mental health therapist bilingual. That's just a brief um, position summary, lead teacher and, ass and assistant teacher. We also have a brief summary as, as well. For more information on the other listed positions and to get a full detail of um, what we're looking for, the qualifications and experience needed for the position, um, I do recommend that you visit our YMCA career page and that's um, at www.ymcadc.org slash careers or if you go to just the um, dc.org page um, you look for the careers button or you can scan I know that I think the QR is a little blocked out here um, so if we can kind of get that minimized a little bit um, it will be a great um, tool for the job seekers to kind of just scan and go directly to our career page I do recommend um, if you go to the career page you want to search by location yeah we go. all right I do recommend that um, once you go to the career page that you search by location and that will be Maryland. Um, you'll see the list of positions um, that I mentioned on the previous slide. Um, that way you can apply directly to the Maryland branches um, or, um, and I'll also leave uh, my information in the chat box as well. So you can email me directly and you can submit your resume directly um, to me as well. Next slide. Some of the benefits that we do offer at the YMCA, and this is just a few, um, but we do have an employee assistant program. 
We have an employee referral program, employer funded retirement plan, 25% off dependent care for employees, free YMCA membership for employees as well, legal, ins legal um, insurance, affordable health care, um, and that includes, um, we have dental, uh, vision, and a number of other um, health insurance um, related insurance. We have banking services, discount programs, and more. Next slide. I think that's it for me. So thank you guys. I would like to thank you guys for your interest in the YMCA. I'll leave my information in the Q&A or the chat box. And I hope that I hear from job seekers today. We have a number of opportunities available at the Y. Um, as I mentioned earlier, this is welcome week. So this is a great opportunity for us to, you know, have that open door um, for immigrants coming into the workforce. We look forward to getting to know you guys. Um, next steps, I, I, I was kind of uh, wanted to minimize the information because I know I could have kind of went overboard, um, but I definitely want to leave my information that you guys can reach out to me directly as to how to apply. But first step would be to go to the career page um, and apply directly for the positions. I'll get the information, um, I'll get the communication once you apply um, and then we'll go from there. Okay, thank you so much, Adidra. I see that you guys are, are hiring anywhere from mental health therapists to swim instructors to daycare or, or um, I, I do know because I, I, uh, I am a Y member and uh, there's, okay. uh, there's uh, that freedom of leaving your children and, and working out. And then when you come back, you give them such a big hug because um, it, it's all about balance in life, right? Um, oh, yeah. And, and, and I see that your mental health um, therapist position is uh, you're looking for a bilingual in, mm -hmm. uh, in Spanish. Yep. So I just wanted to share that today is the first day of the Hispanic Heritage Month. Oh, so uh, congratulations to all the Hispanic community. Um, this will probably not be uh, able, you guys will not be able to translate this, but um, a todos los hispanos, aquí en, este, en esta uh, feria de empleo, les deseo muchas felicidades y les um, exhorto a que sigan adelante. Y gracias por estar aquí con nosotros. All right, so I pretty much just thank them for being here and congratulated them on the Hispanic Month. Um, all right, so um, uh, job seekers, uh, go ahead and enter your questions in the Q&A and Antidra is gonna be answering those questions for you. Thank you so much, great presentation, Antidra. Um, can I, oh. I can actually answer one question live? I had a question sure. um, we have here. Some of the job seekers are interested in youth development positions, helping children. So we have a number of youth development opportunities um, from lead teachers um, to assistant teachers, as well as group leaders. So if they have a passion for working with children. I think the why is, is definitely an avenue to um, um, to to explore. Um, let me ask you a question, Adidra. Do you uh, these individuals that are helping out uh, working with children uh, in child development? Do they need to have a CDA or a child development associate degree? Um, certain positions, um, um, we, we are licensed facilities. Um, so some positions will require um, those credentials. However, um, like we try to get with like um, local colleges to kind of um, those Montgomery College students that's coming right out of um, school to kind of have those um, qualifications. However, not all of our youth development positions require those credentials. So you have positions, group leaders that I mentioned on that um, position slide that, you know, that don't require as much um, as a lead teacher versus a group leader or assistant teacher. All right. Thank you so much. Um, and, and yes, please continue to answer those questions in the chat box. Um, we're, we're now going to move on to our next uh, presenter, and that is um, Shepard Pratt. Uh, for Shepard Pratt, we have Stephanie Coakley. She will be presenting on behalf of um, Shepard Pratt. Hi, Stephanie? thank you so much. Um, my name is Stephanie. I'm one of the recruiters at Shepherd Pratt. I'm really excited to be here today. Um, I wanna start off on the next slide and I can tell everybody a little bit about what Shepherd Pratt is. We are the nation's largest private nonprofit provider of mental health, substance use, special education, 
Developmental Disability and Social Services. We were founded in 1891. We serve over 80,000 people per year. Our main campus is in Towson, which is in Baltimore County, but we have over 160 programs throughout 16 different Maryland counties. Um, we have two hospitals, we have 13 day schools, and we have various other community services throughout the state as well. And our programs help people of all ages, all the way from infants through geriatrics. Um, next slide, please. Um, so some awards and recognition that Shepherd Pratt has received. Um, the U.S. News and World Report has named Shepherd Pratt Hospital as one of the nation's top psychiatric hospitals in the nation and has for the past 30 years. Um, Shepherd Pratt is considered the birthplace of modern day occupational therapy. Um, the first classes were offered in 1922 all the way through 1932. And in 2020, we earned the LGBTQ Healthcare Equality Top Performer designation for the Towson Hospital from the Human Rights Campaign in the Healthcare Equality Index Survey, which measures how inclusive healthcare organizations are of the LGBTQ community. Um, next slide. So here are some of the um, main positions that we hire for at Shepherd Pratt. Um, our first one that we're always hiring for is our mental health workers. And something that I didn't note on here actually also is nurses. Um, our mental health workers is sort of our equivalent of CNAs and GNAs. They're direct care physicians. You get to work directly with the patients on our inpatient units. Um, and then nurses also, we hire them for our inpatient units as well. We have residential programs for um, adolescents as well as disabilities. Um, our residential counselors help the um, residents with their different day-to-day -day tasks. We have educational assistants who work in schools. Um, our schools are for students who have either an intellectual disability or on the autism spectrum or are having um, severe behavioral issues in school. The educational assistants work directly with the students in either small groups or one-to-one, -one, and they help the teacher out with various tasks. And then in our community services, we have different direct support professionals. Um, so depending on the program that you are working in would be the population you work with. Um, so for example, we have a domestic violence survivor shelter and program for women and families who have been affected by domestic violence. So our um, direct support professionals and residential advocates work directly with the um, residents in the program to do groups and help with um, different types of therapy. Um, we also have our um, food service workers and our housekeepers in our hospitals. Um, one thing I do like to mention when talking about these positions is if you are somebody who wants to eventually go into the psych field, but you don't have any experience at all, um, you don't have to have any experience to be a food service worker or a housekeeper. Um, but if you one day want to apply to be, let's say, a mental health worker, we always look at our internal applicants before looking externally. So I think that if you're eventually thinking, yeah, I would like to do this, but don't have any experience, I feel like those positions are great ways to get your foot in the door. Um, our food service workers um, work in the cafeterias at our two hospitals and our housekeepers work in all of our locations. Um, and then last, we also have our facility technicians. Um, these are comprised of a bunch of different trades such as electricians, plumbers, uh, mechanics, um, they do HVAC, they do carpentry, they do all types of things. So they're really great positions if you have any kind of experience doing any of that work. Um, and then next slide. So how do you find open positions at Shepherd Pratt? The first place you wanna go is our website, um, which I will also put in the chat, which is shepherdpratt.org slash careers. Um, you can also find a lot of our entry level positions on Indeed. Um, if you are in school doing like your associates, your bachelors, a lot of schools use something called Handshake, and a lot of our positions are posted there. And follow us on LinkedIn as we share a lot of our popular positions onto our LinkedIn page. Um, next slide. Um, and then if you do have any questions, um, I will be around. You can type them in the chat. I can definitely answer them 
or you can feel free to give me a call. There's my phone number as well as shoot me an email. Um, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, but thank you so much again for your and I'm so happy that we were able to be here today. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. You certainly give our translators a run for their money. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, um, so great. Um, I, um, I just wanted to encourage everyone to um, look at these wonderful positions that uh, Stephanie just mentioned and not to mention, uh, like I said, uh, before with all the other employers, the benefits that you uh, can find. I, I know that there's always great demand for uh, direct support professionals, um, bilingual direct support, uh, support professionals. So just know that with Shepherd Pratt, you will have training. They will train you. They will work with you. Any um, child care issues that you may have, they can work with you. I mean, it is a very, very employee-friendly company. Um, so uh, please uh, reach out to Stephanie, and she will um, very slowly explain to you all the different uh, uh, steps you need to take to uh, apply for, for a position with Shepherd Pratt. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Thank All right, you. you're welcome. All right, so um, up next, we have Erica Harrison. Erica is here today with um, Troy Green and they are teaming up to present the job opportunities offered at the University of Maryland Medical System. Hello everyone, good afternoon. Um, actually, it's just, um, I'm just presenting today. Troy is out, on, um, out today, so it's just me today. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. We enjoy having you and you're wonderful, so um, take it away. Thank you so much. Um, can you go to the next slide, please? Okay, so about um, arms, um, usually we, well, nickname arms, University of Maryland Medical Systems. Um, the University of Maryland Medical Systems is a university-based regional health care system focused on serving the health care needs of Maryland. We bring innovation, discovery, and research to the care we provide all while educating the state's future physician and healthcare care professional through our partnership with the University of Maryland School of Medicine and the University of Maryland Schools of Nursing and Pharmacy, pharmacy Social Work and Dentistry in Baltimore. Um, we have about nine facilities for the hospital. And then we, um, next slide, please. We have a, about 150 locations, including the nine um, hospitals, uh, meaning doctor's offices, physician offices. So we have a lot of locations. Um, with our locations, we are throughout the Southern Maryland, Prince George's County, Baltimore area, Baltimore County, Baltimore City. Um, right now, we have a lot of um, open position um, from um, corporate to um, food services, EVS, RNs. Um, social workers, everything that you can think of where we have openings. Um, I'm the recruiter, um, one of the recruiters at um, UMS, and um, right now I'm recruiting for um, foods and EVS. Some of our position, you do not need a high school diploma or GED. Some of our position, you do need a high school diploma and GED. With our position at University of Maryland Capital Region, which is in um, Largo, Bowie, and Laurel, Laurel, Maryland, you do need a high school diploma. Um, for the housekeeping of foods. Um, for University of Maryland and um, University of Maryland Medical Systems, I'm sorry, University of Maryland Medical Center and Baltimore Washington Medical Center, you do not need um, some um, experience for our foods and housekeeping, and you do not need um, your high school diploma either. So next slide, please. Um, so the process of... Um, for going online, I will put our website on in the chat chat box. Uh, you will want to update your resume and cover letter. It's very good to update your resume and cover letter um, with the right um, phone number, especially the right phone number, the right email address, because we, you know, when we call you, want to make sure that you get that phone call with the opportunity. And when we do email, you want to make sure that you receive our email. Um, um, you will speak to a recruiter as far as when we do call. Um, when um, interview, 
once we screen you, when you speak to a recruiter, we'll screen you, screen the application or resume and submit you to the hiring manager. And then the hiring manager then will um, um, review your information and either they set up for an interview, or, which, are, which is virtual or in person. Um, next slide, please. <clears throat> Um, so our website um, for the event and applying online, you can go visit www.jobs.arms.org slash events, because <clears throat> we do have a lot of events that we have for um, virtual, interview, for virtual job fair or in-person job fairs. And then to go online to apply, it's https semicolon backslash backslash www.arms.org backslash jobs. And then you can go in there and apply to your um, apply to any open position that we have. With arms, we do believe in um, growth from within. And right now, we just um, you know we just raised our um, starting wage for um, EVS or starting wage from eleven. I think it's eleven seventy five to now. We're starting at fifteen dollars an hour. So. We're no longer starting at the bottom of $12 or $13. We're starting at $15 an hour for our Baltimore Washington Hospital Center's um, um, location and our U University of Maryland rehab locations. So we have raised our minimum wage to $15 an hour. All right, next slide. Um, I think that's it. That's my information, Erica Harrison, my, with my email address and my phone number. Um, you can always send me a resume um, or give me a call if you're interested in any position, if you have any issues applying online. And thank you so much for having me presenting our, um, from the University of Maryland. We thank you so much. Erica, thank you so much. You actually did a great job in presenting these opportunities. Um, <laughs> thank I know you. Erica was a little like, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a good job, but you did an outstanding job. So thank you. Um, I will send it. your boss a, 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 an email. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Um, I, I, and I think you do have some kind of uh, fans. Um, I see in the Q&A that says that they detected a, an accent from the Caribbean. Are you from the Caribbean? Yes, I'm actually from Jamaica. <laughs> Jamaica. Well, we're neighbors. I'm from Puerto Rico. So oh, um, okay. <laughs> yes. yeah, never been to Jamaica, Jamaica, but I love the food and the, uh, the Cajun and, and uh, what, do, what do you call the curry chicken, curry goat. Yes, <laughs> I love that. Yes, it's curry. So um, thank you so much. Um, I, I love that um, slide that you presented with all the different locations. Thank so you. just by going by that slide, I can, I can tell that you have a lot of job opportunities. Yes. And, and we I have, we love go ahead sorry we have a lot of opportunities um especially we went up to 15 dollars an hour at starting rate not for nurses but more of the evs foods um we're looking for a lot of foods we're looking for a lot of evs um baltimore county baltimore city um prince george's county um and arundel county um and some of our locations you don't really need your high school diploma um some of them you do need it but you know, if you're interested, it will say it on the job description, whether you need your high school. And some of them, you don't even, even need um, experience. So it's really easy starting from there. So I'm kind of um, exaggerating on food and EVS because that's where um, in recruiting right now. But we do, if you're a nurse, um, social worker, anything clinical, anything to start operations, we have um, recruiter uh, positions available as well. If you know we have any recruiters on here, I'm not stealing from anybody, but if anybody is interested in coming on University of Maryland as a recruiter, we're looking for recruiters as well. <laughs> Sounds very tempting. Uh, I work with the University of Maryland Upper Chesapeake here because uh, I, I, um, I serve Harper County and they're always hiring for uh, host, hostesses, cooks, um, in addition to your typical um, coders, yeah. medical um, positions like nurses and, and medical assistants. And so, so there's a little bit for everybody, but what, what I, I was surprised to hear is that you, that some of the positions don't even require that you have a high school diploma. Right. So right. that is, a, that is great news. That is great right. news. And we work, um, if anyone is on here, we work with community partners as well. You know, if you want to join along with them, we do take um, certain um, agencies that contractual agencies that we work with. You know, 
But, you know, just go online. Like I said, some of the position you don't need um, experience or a high school diploma. Just go online and apply. We are welcome to have everybody. And we, you know, University of Maryland Medical System, we believe in growth. You know, you don't, we don't just want you to start there. We want you to start from here and then go all the way up to the top. So that's what, that's what our belief is, growth at our um, facility. Thank you. I, I'm just so excited about all these employers being so inclusive and so, so um, generous. So I really, really appreciate all this information uh, provided today. Um, so um, Eric is going to hang on and she is going to answer questions in the Q&A for you. So make sure that you um, um, ask her any questions, any pressing questions that you may have. And, and I'm thinking if you want to apply, just ask her how to do that, how to go about it. There's her information right there uh, on that slide. So go ahead and, and, and get on with um, your applications. All right. Thank you so much, Erica. We're going to go, go ahead and move on. We still have three wonderful employers left. Um, we are going to talk about, uh, actually uh, learn about the opportunities with Donahoe Hospitality Services, but job seekers hang tight because coming up next um, and towards the end of our, our presentation, we will show you how to use this um, um, event as one of your three uh, activities or reemployment activities for unemployment. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you're currently receiving unemployment, just know that you may use this um, event, this hiring event, as one of your three activities. So um, we will show you how to do it um, towards the end uh, after all the employers have presented. So hang in there because there, there's more good information coming up. Um, now, without further ado, I will leave the floor to Ariel Harrison with Donahoe Hospitality Services. Hi, Ariel? how are you today? Good, good. Good. I'm unable to start my video, but um, if you can hear me, that's great. I can get started. <clears throat> I can hear you. Okay. So yes, I'm with Donna Hospitality. I am the HR manager managing all, oh, there we go, starts video, um, functions of human resources, including staffing, and I'm excited to talk with you all today. Um, one thing you'll notice here is a group of people on our front page, and this is one of our um, uh, teams at our Holiday Inn Capital. And so I'll talk a little bit more about the culture. I will say that we've been um, voted one of the best places to work in uh, Washington, the Washington, D.C. area by the Washington Business Journal for several years in a row, um, including top 10. Um, all right, so we can go to the next si slide, please. So a little bit about Donna Hospitality Services, we go by DHS for short, is we are a uh, approved management company for all leading brands. So we manage um, Hilton's, Marriott's, um, Intercontinental, Hyatt, and Choice Hotels. Um, and so we, we basically manage uh, franchise hotels. So people will own hotels or, or they'll um, have a franchise and they'll say, we want you to manage it for us. So. We oversee the daily operations of the hotels. Um, we are nationally ranked and we have 16 hotels in DC, Maryland, uh, Portland, Maine, Las Vegas, and Virginia um, and counting. We're constantly expanding. We have a commitment to diversity. And so just um, a couple of things on that point is that we embrace all employee differences. We have opportunities for all employees, no matter their differences. And we're excited that we represent over 21% of the world's countries. Um, and to be specific, we have employees from 52 countries, different countries that work with our, um, uh, within our hotels and um, within our corporate location as well. So diversity is huge for us. Um, and uh, we're also dedicated to being an exceptional hotel management company um, that delivers unlimited opportunities for our employees exemplary service to our guests and extraordinary results for our owners. And this is our mission statement. And one thing that I love about this mission statement is that it also focuses on our employees. So we want to make sure that we're delivering those opportunities. I didn't um, make a note on here about development, but development is huge in our company. Our president actually started as a dishwasher in hotels and he's now the president. And when we look at the, the people that work in corporate or we look at the general managers or anyone that are in um, leadership positions, they've all started in positions 
um, that were not leadership positions and they were able to grow and develop within the company and they're just outstanding. So uh, that's just a little bit about DHS and we'll just go on to the next slide then. So with Donahoe Hospitality, we do offer several benefits. So we offer vacation and paid time off benefits. We also offer various health benefits, medical, dental, vision. Um, we have flexible spending accounts that are available. We also have a 401k that employees can participate in. We do have life insurance as well and um, disability insurance, such as short-term disability and long-term disability. We have great commuter benefits and we have um, a very uh, a, a great uh, employee assistance program um, that is completely free to employees as well as their family members or people that live in their household. And um, there are a lot of different resources with, with that program. And then we also offer various um, types of leave for our employees. Next slide. So uh, the departments that we have are our front desk, operations department, housekeeping, we have sales, and we have food and beverage. And just to give you a kind of an idea of some of the positions that are typically open, but this is not the only positions, or, um, so, but here's a short list. So in our front desk department, we typically have like a, well, front desk openings, front desk clerk openings, and the front desk clerks, they help with all aspects of the front desk. Um, they are essentially the first person that the guest sees when they check in, and they're the last person they see when they leave. Um, and so it's important that they create that, that guest service, um, that friendly environment, um, and that they're welcoming to the guests. Also, they help with any type of issues that the guests may experience. So it's really good for someone in this position to be able to deal with um, or understand um, or be able to de-escalate, and we certainly train on how to de-escalate, um, but de-escalate guests if they get um, angry. But in this position, it's really important to have great communication skills. Uh, so that's, that's for front desk clerk. For housekeeper, housekeepers, they take care of inside of the rooms. Um, and so they um, make sure that the rooms are clean, sanitized, and prepared for our guests. And they do so while meeting certain standards by our, the brands that we represent. So the Hilton and Marriott and such. The house person, on the other hand, they are responsible for general cleaning uh, duties around the hotel. So not necessarily uh, in the rooms, but they will help out there. But they'll also clean like the lobby and, and such. Um, and then another example of a position that we have typically open is a server. And so they take um, and serve food and, and drink orders for our guests. And in this position, it's really important to have that great customer service and um, communication skills. Um, we also have utility positions that are typically open and they clean and store, sanitize all of our silverware um, and our dishes and plates to ensure that we're keeping um, um, everything clean in the kitchen. So next slide, please. So to fill our various positions, we are looking for people with certain qualities. And if this is you, we'd love you to apply. Um, but definitely having honesty and integrity is really important. Um, that is part of our uh, tagline. Um, and it, it, that's just really important to have when dealing with our, um, with our guests. And then being a team player. Uh, we have employees who maybe work in a certain department, but you know, being flexible to help out in other areas or just being a team player in general is really important in the hospitality. Uh, willingness to work flexible hours. Hospitality is a 365, 24-7 um, business, and so it's important that people are able to work flexible hours. Um, and then we also have, you know, quality that's very important is the ability to deal with stress. It can be really fast-paced, and it can be stressful sometimes, um, or there could be like a guest that's not really happy. And so being able to deal with that being able to make the, help, the guests happy and being able to just decompress um, and be able to still offer a great guest experience and work experience for yourself is important too. We talked about communication skills are really important for several of our positions. Um, also decision-making skills are really important. As we mentioned, the front desk clerks, they will deal with um, you know, guests that may not be always happy. And so they have to come up with great decision-making skills on that the spot um, to really make sure that they're making that guest happy. Um, and decision-making skills come up in other areas of the, the hotel too. And then just to wrap up, we are looking for people who are dedicated to exceptional customer service, 
everything that we do in hospitality is for the guest. And so that guest experience exceeding the guest expectations is the core of what we do. Um, and so if you have those qualities, we'd love you to apply. You can just go straight to donahoe.com slash hospitality. And we have hotels, um, as I mentioned, across the DC metro area, we have them um, in like Southwest DC, uh, DuPont Circle, um, National Mall. We have hotels in Baltimore, Chevy Chase, Bethesda, um, Arlington, Ruston, we're all over the place and Charlottesville. And if you ever make it to Las Vegas, we're there too. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Ariel. And hopefully I will be make, able to make it to Las Vegas one day yes. before I turn 80 or 90. Um, but um, yes, I, I, I love that you guys have these um, values of honesty, integrity, and, and that you guys are also, because um, I'm thinking the willingness to work flexible hours work, works both ways. So you have flexible schedules also to offer um, individuals that are um, actually looking into getting into the hospitality industry, which you always have a job and, um, and just, you know, great company to work with. So I appreciate you being here today and thank you Donna Ho for um, providing this wonderful presentation today. Thank you. Um, okay, so uh, up next we have um, Vitalis Healthcare and for that um, employer, we'll have Danielle Mahaga. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. And she will talk a little bit about what we can expect from uh, Vitalis Healthcare. Danielle? Good evening. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Danielle Mahaga. I'm here to represent Vitalis Healthcare. So Vitalis Healthcare is a home agency located in Maryland, Silver Spring downtown. So we provide services in the whole of Maryland and um, we work in, we collaborate with social workers, case managers, physicians and family members to develop a plan of home care that exceeds our client expectation. Our residential healthcare services allow our customers and clients to receive reliable and compassionate care from well-trained and dedicated caregivers in the comfort of their home. Uh, please, next slide. Uh, what type of services do we provide? We provide companionship to our clients and patients. Um, we provide personal care assistance, like laundry, feeding, cleaning, and grocery shopping. Uh, we provide certified, um, we also provide certified medication assistance, um, but this is limited to L, um, RNs and LPNs, and they have to ha have the doctor direction and approval in order to do that. And HNA, CNA, and the ones under that um, will do medication reminders to the clients and the patients. Uh, we provide services in all counties in Maryland, in Baltimore, Kent County, Howard County, Montgomery County, Prince George County, and um, yeah, what you said, Baltimore. <laughs> Please watch the next slide. Next slide, please. Okay, so we're made up of a team of 120 uh, caregivers, that is uh, registered nurse, CNAs, LPN, and unlicensed aids. 30% uh, of our caregivers can cover cities and towns in Prince George and Montgomery counties. 30% of our caregivers can cover cities and towns in Baltimore and Howard counties. And 40% of our caregivers can cover cities and towns in Anne Arundel counties and other counties in Maryland. This for the next slide, please. Okay, so we're looking for a diverse and hardworking team of registered nurses, certified nurse assistant, uh, certified medication technician, licensed nurse practitioners, home health aides, and unlicensed aides. Unlicensed aides are people that don't have the license to provide services, but they have the uh, work experiences. And even they don't have the work experiences, we're there to train them free of course. Next slide, please. 
Uh, our daily goal is to provide quality, reliable, compassionate, and affordable home health services to our clients. And to make our to make our caregivers like feel to feel welcome and empowered to do the work. We work with, uh, we are yet to we are there to listen to them, encourage them, train them, and provide them with all the resources they need in order to provide the best of care to our clients. And um, in addition to that, um, apart from the salary they receive for the work, uh, they do also provide various incentives like gift cards, um, certifications, hours, hours, and other free gifts. <laughs> Next slide, please. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, we are located, our office is located in Silver Spring downtown, and here is our address, and here are the various phone numbers you can call. And to, in order to apply, you just have to go to our company website, Vitalis Healthcare, and all the information are there. And you can also call me directly on any of these numbers, and I'll be willing to help you. Next slide, please. All okay, right. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. And I'm waiting and I'm willing to talk with a lot of people that wish to be caregivers and join our big vitalist family. Thank you very much. Thank you, Danielle. Thank you for providing all this information. And, and I'm glad to learn that you have positions for cert individuals with certification and without certification. And just know that if you're interested in getting a CNA, GNA certification, your uh, closest American Job Center can help you. Uh, you may be eligible for free certification, free training. So please uh, follow up. We have wonderful staff that will be yeah, able to that. assist you with that. Thank you so much, Danielle. And if you, can I ask you to please uh, hang in and uh, answer questions in the chat box? No, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, so um, our next presenter is um, Howard Community College, and we have for that Cristina Fernandez, and she will tell us all about the job opportunities with Howard Community College. Cristina? Thanks for having me. My name is Cristina Fernandez. I'm the employment manager at HCC. Howard Community College is located in the heart of Howard County in Columbia, Maryland. We hire for the one location, but a lot going on at our campus in Columbia. Next slide. A little bit about HCC. We're an exciting place to learn, work, and grow. We've been awarded the great colleges to work for since 2009, so 11 years and running. And this um, opportunities are all a part of our wonderful campus community. We do value diversity and have an active community supporting people of all races, ethnicities, walks of life. We have a very active diversity council at HCC and all employees are invited to participate in that effort. No matter where you are, whether you are working um, new in your career or senior in your career, there's something for everyone. Next slide. A little bit about the types of jobs that HCC recruits for. We have essentially four types of employees. One is our staff. Those are the folks that work as administrators on campus, our professional technicals, and, those are, and also support staff. We obviously have a uh, large community of faculty who teach our students at HCC. And then we have um, uh, folks that support us on an hourly basis, uh, part-time hourly employees. And then we also employ adjunct faculty. And what that means is people who work, um, who have expertise in various disciplines are hired to um, teach three to six credits. So part-time position, um, in, often in the daytime and in evening, sometimes the weekends. So we really have four different categories. Um, if you are looking for full-time positions or part-time positions, there's a little something for everyone at HCC. Next slide. 
a little bit about some of the positions that we're actively recruiting for at HCC. Um, we do have uh, some full-time opportunities, staff full-time positions. We are recruiting for a uh, director of our performing arts facility, the Horowitz Center. We have a few office administrator positions available, an operations support administrator. We also are recruiting for uh, assistant director of financial aid services, a customer account specialist, a director of uh, apprenticeship and workforce innovation. Uh, one of that individual, someone who works closely with the Maryland Workforce Exchange. Um, we're recruiting for a director of athletics, an HR partner for risk managing our benefits and risk. And then we have a, a office associated facilities. If you're not necessarily looking for a full-time position, but you are looking to supplement work on it as, on a part-time basis, we're recruiting for folks to work at our Horowitz Center. Um, we're looking forward to welcoming patrons back to our performing arts facility where the community, as well as our students, utilize our beautiful Horowitz Center and um, you know, bring live entertainment to Howard County. Um, we are recruiting for a DEI representative to work with our diversity council. If that's a passion uh, top passion for you, that might be an interesting opportunity. We're recruiting for part-time people to work in our test center, our audio visual center, and then um, different positions throughout our community. We're also looking, our, our third party partner is recruiting for security officers to work on site at HCC. Next slide. If you decide to join HCC on a full-time basis, we offer top-notch medical and dental programs. And we, as an organization, subsidize those costs at 90%. Howard Community College is actually a best in class when it comes to our fellow community colleges. And we work yearly to ensure that as the cost of medical goes up, we continue to offer um, economical options for our workforce. We have a very generous time off package, including spring and winter break. So while the students leave campus for spring and winter, so do we. So it's a nice opportunity to you know, re rejuvenate and um, spend time with loved ones. We have a, a wonderful tuition reimbursement program and a professional development and employee training program. Um, considering that we are a college campus, many of our employees continue their education within our walls. They participate in um, learning programs through HCC, but then they also have the opportunity to go to other, um, you know, other organizations, institutions to continue their learning. We have a warm, welcoming community with continuous learners. Our grounds are beautiful, state-of-the-art. We do have very uh, lucrative retirement planning programs, including a pension option, which is more and more rare as we continue through the 2000s. And then we also offer career progression and development opportunities. The first position you work with at HCC is not often not your last, so we continue to uh, you know, promote from within and work within our organization to provide learning opportunities and career development opportunities for our employees. Next slide. Um, all of our positions do report to our campus in Columbia, Maryland. We don't offer a lot. We are currently uh, coming back to campus after the COVID closures. And so frequently our, uh, you know, classes are coming more and more in person. We do, our community is bustling again. So all positions do report into our campus in Columbia. If you'd like to apply for jobs, we ask that you go directly to our website at www.howardcc.edu. There you complete an application and submit a resume for consideration. Our, back, our employees are, um, do participate in a background check, a criminal background investigation, and our employees are required to have a high school diploma or equivalent. And that's a minimum qualification for the positions. And that's it from HCC. Any questions, comments, concerns, anything I can answer? This is great, Christina. I just can't thank you enough. Uh, tuition reimbursement, retirement, 
pension, career development, health benefits, and then some more. I mean, this is a great opportunity. Um, it is a great institution and actually without Howard Community College, this event could have not been possible because you guys have been managing our platform, our Zoom platform, and they have gone above and beyond. Katie, thank you so much. Mary Ann, Carol, and you guys are amazing. You guys have done, done a lovely job. job. Some of our but best. I'm not going to, yes, it, it's, they're great. And they have help, been so helpful with all the translation services. <clears throat> so my, my, it's, I have great, great appreciation for Howard Community College. And um, there you have it. All 13 employers, we've gone a little bit over our time, but you know what? I think it was worth it. I feel smarter. I don't know about you, but I've learned so much today. And I, hopefully you guys have learned a lot today. Um, the presentation will be, will be sent to you. On the following slide, you'll see um, some information. It's also part of your presentation. If we can advance um, to the next slide, thank you so much, Natalie. Natalie's also been helping with the, um, with the PowerPoint and um, many other things. But if we can go back one slide, um, just briefly wanted to let you know that in this slide, um, Natalie, can we go? There you go. Okay, so this is how, when, when you go on this um, link, you'll be able to learn um, how to enter your, um, this event as one of your three unemployment activities for your job search, for your weekly certification. So just follow that link. Um, it's, it's a short eight minute uh, video that is gonna show you not only how to enter activities, but also job search contact, contacts. So make sure that you um, um, watch the video uh, tutorial and, and use this as one of your three events. So without any uh, anything further, I want to leave the floor to Joanne, our fearless lead leader, and she will just um, bring you some closing comments today. Thank you very much for um, being here today and for joining us in this hiring event. Joanne? Hi, everyone. So glad that you all spent about two hours with us today learning about jobs, job seeker services, learning about all the types of different jobs that are out there in the state of Maryland. Just wanna thank and recognize that we have 13 employers. We had 11 languages. Uh, today, you got a taste of being at the United Nations, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, couldn't have done this without the team. Uh, we had an amazing team that was working behind the scene. And to really want to note that this event was immigrant driven. So you as the immigrants listening, as the new Americans listening, are the ones who completed our survey at the beginning of, of uh, back a couple of months ago. And through that survey, you identified several industries that you were interested in working in, which were education, healthcare and social services, IT and cybersecurity, financial services, government services, professional and scientific and technical services, nonprofit construction and real estate. And the team that was really tasked with identifying uh, the businesses and the employers came in, responded to this particular, uh, this particular request from all of you. This survey was so important to us because then we were able to initially present resumes uh, training cover letters, how you can make sure your cover letters are on point, how you can participate in interviewing. And the big thing for us who are immigrants who come from another country is credentialing. So West uh, World Education Services provided some credentialing information and the Professional Outplacement Assistance Center provided the resume, cover letters, and interviewing. We had a slew of questions coming in. I think looking at the webinar, we had an equal number of questions coming in as attendance. So we had about 190 questions coming in and 190 people who were listening for at this event. I want to really thank the team, the core team at the Skilled Immigrant Task Force that's been really working hard. And if they can turn on their videos, 
because some of them were managing the Q&A box, they've been managing, making sure the information that is being presented is current. And so if all of them can turn on their videos, I know that they have been working behind the scene and that they are probably like, uh, no, don't put us on the spot yet. <laughs> so I wanna put them on the spot. So I'm gonna start with Howard Community College because in Kenya, I'm Kenyan, we say you have to thank the host. And we were at home at Howard Community College. We've been at home for this past two events. So Katie Edwards, Marianne Carroll and Hannah Fallon have been amazing hosts. They welcomed us to Howard Community College and we were able to have this event. Mitra Basu is at Howard, is at Columbia Workforce. And she's, when we have meetings, she's making sure that uh, all the questions that you would have as an immigrant, all the information that we are sharing has to be current. So Mitra Pasu is in the Howard, Howard County government. Employer Prince George's, we have Claudia Marion and that's the American Job Center in Prince George's County. And she of course, you know, was the one who said, we need a survey, we need to put out a survey. Uh, Yoon Young um, is, I can't even begin to explain who Yoon Young is. She's the new American initiative coordinator and she, is the person who's making sure that the skilled immigrant task force is on task. We meet monthly. And so she's wanting to make sure that the resources that we are providing, the work groups are working. She's doing an amazing job with that. John Fester III is the chief learning officer at the Department of Labor. He's He was troubleshooting at the back, making sure that all the interpreters are in the correct slot all the panelists and the rights law. So we, we wanna thank you all for being patient and understanding that this was our first of many events that we are pulling off. Alexis Stone is also with the New American Initiative Department. Natalie Clements is a policy analyst with the Department of Labor and she was just amazing. Uh, I mean, she was, the, she's clicking through, but she's the one analyzing and making sure that the, the survey you all presented to us was the one that led this program. So Natalie, thank you for doing that analysis work so we can make sure we provide the best to our immigrant community. Liz Rodriguez was the showstopper today. She brought in all the employers and she worked with a team of, of, of the business department. She works with Jacqueline Davis, Teresa Mena, Roseanne Fish, Angelis, Angela Hackins, uh, Anessa Leftov, and Anne-Marie Gunning. And I'm telling you, the team behind here, they made it easier. They made this program possible, and they made it uh, a vision that I was looking forward to see. Chris Elsnick was with Ad Astra, and as you can see, there's nine languages we were presenting today. There's 42 languages just in Kenya, so nine we haven't even begun to touch Kenya. So um, just want to thank Ad Astra for providing the interpretation. We saw major shout outs for ASL. He was on there translating through the whole entire session. Um, the employers got to see how challenging it is sometimes for immigrants to navigate the workspace today. This was a crash course for, uh, for six hours. So the first two hours we did job readiness and today we did hiring. So what we want to hear is you applied for the job that you know where the job seeker services are, that you know that you, there's a group of individuals who work in different organizations in the state of Maryland, who serve on the Maryland Skilled Immigrant Task Force, who are constantly championing for you as immigrants. So don't feel overwhelmed, don't feel alone, know that there are resources available to you. We will follow up with an email uh, with a satisfaction survey. Let us know how we can improve let us know what else you need to see. This is the first of many. It's a multilingual event. I don't even think the United Nations, the ILO is the labor organization of the United Nations that does labor. I don't think they've done an event like this one. So just to show off that the state of Maryland uh, was the first one to pull this off. And my name is Joanne Oport. I'm from Kenya. I'm a commissioner in the state of Maryland. I serve on the Commission on African Affairs with the Governor's Office of Community Initiatives. So we just wanna thank you again. Thank you so, so much for being a part of this. Thank you for staying through and asking all your questions and know that we, we are looking forward to employers hiring you. <laughs> we, want, we want to get emails. We were hired through this event. So this is the first of many. And want to say again, thank you to the team. I love working with all of you. You did amazing.